Hey guys, Pimmy Gamer, and I'm back with another Order and Chaos Online video. And today I have very exciting news for you guys, as today we've just gotten our first look on the brand new update that's coming very soon. So let's get right into it. So on the form, I'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want to look at it on your own time. But uh, I'm just going to go over it and uh, we're going to see what's new. So we're going to be getting a brand new class, which is freaking awesome. Uh, we're going to get a new cannon dungeon, six new cannon bosses. We're going to get four regular bosses and a chance to meet two additional secret bosses. Going to be getting some festive events, for, uh, Dragon Boat Festival and the fourth anniversary. Um, we're going to get some new mounts and pets, including a griffin mount, which is freaking cool. If you guys don't know what a griffin is, it's like a half lion half eagle thing it's really really cool um we're also getting 30 days uh rewards and daily activities so we'll go ahead and we'll talk about that um for a second but uh let's go ahead and rewind back guys if you remember in um the current update or the current dungeon we have right now the rising flare burnout the night if you actually uh finish that uh and you killed the last boss you actually saw this person at the end um and this is probably tied into the story I'm myself, like, I have no idea what the frick is happening in the story of Warden Chaos. I just know this guy showed up, so it's a little hint of um, probably that he most likely, I don't know, maybe he's a boss, maybe he's like a hero, I don't know, but he's definitely going to appear in the new dungeon. Um, and so, uh, the new playable class, what are we getting? We're getting the Flame Knight. That is a warrior type class, you can go either DPS or tank. Um, and that's pretty sweet. And we're also getting a new legendary weapon, um, or legendary weapons for the four old classes, meaning, you know, for your ranger, um, warrior, and mage, and monk. We're going to be getting legendary weapons. I'm assuming that's the legendary scanner weapons, um, since we last update got, um, the ability to upgrade our upgraded scanner. Um, so how can we create this new class? You will need to have a character at level 70 already, and then um, an empty character slot will appear for you, which you can do it. Um, I'm probably gonna do that. Honestly, if you guys wanna check, if you guys want me to do that, I will. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Again, um, this is all just a little info, a little sneak peek. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be starting all the way from level one, or we're gonna be starting like from a higher level and, and stuff, I don't know. It's it's. I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking on the perspective of World of Warcraft, how they do it. Because there's a Death Knight class in World of Warcraft where you start up as like a level, I think it's 80 or something, or level 60, or whatever it is on that game. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, we'll see. Other new talents, yeah, again, Flame Knight, this, it can either be a DPS or a tank. Um, so what is the daily activity? Um, you will see a list of many repeatable activities every day. Uh, you'll get daily activity points from doing these. And you'll receive a reward um, every time you get 10, 50, or 100 points. Um, and then what's new in the fourth anniversary event? So there'll be a festival dungeon in Greenmont, um, which is called the Sacred Seven Pagoda, I think. <laughs> um, and then what are the events for completing the event? You will get transfer cookies will probably make you into bosses or like maybe some type of animal or something. Uh, there's a new mount, Tree Man. That sounds really weird. Um, a new pet, the sapling, and a mini cute equipment. Um, so what will the festival dungeon in Greenmont be about? So there will be seven bosses in that dungeon. If you defeat the final boss, you have a chance to get um, gems, um, equipment, and also a chance to get the uh, tree man mount. Um, and then how do we get the legendary weapon, which I'm guessing again is the scanner weapon, um, the legendary scanner. So you're gonna, gonna have to find some treasures in the new dungeon. Um, complete a series of quests, then defeat the legendary boss, just like, you know, the first legendary weapon we had, the lava weapons. Um, so you defeat that lava, that secret kind of legendary boss, and then you can go ahead and get your legendary weapon. So we're gonna have to see how that looks, because the legendary lava weapons look really, really cool, because they have this really cool effect to them. So we'll see what happens with the scanner ones. Um, so what will the new dungeon, uh, be about? It's actually an Eternal Frostman, just north. It's a giant floating temple, so... <laughs> That's pretty cool. You're gonna have to finish uh, again, you know, of course, on prequests. Um, and then, how many bosses? There are four bosses, and then two additional hidden bosses. And then, what's the minimum level? Uh, 66 on normal and 68 on legend. So, um, let's just hope that it won't be too hard. Burnout the night was freaking. It's uh, it's pretty difficult, but uh, we're gonna have to see how this turns out. Um, 
Now, since we got this little sneak peek, I'm going to guess we're going to get the update maybe, um, it's kind of late May, but maybe, maybe towards the end of May, we're getting really close to it, and then maybe early June, so we're going to have to see about that. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited. Um, I'm thinking of making a Flame Knight character for myself, um, but I don't know. We're going to have to see about that. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.